Okay, something new and different. I have this little obstacle. The wheels slide off this end or off this point, trying to get around this curve. And then try to make a rock pile. Never done anything like this before. I just wadded up newspaper, used some hot glue to hold everything together, and then mixed up some very old joint compound. Mixed it with a half a bottle of old white glue. Made a thick paste, then I thin it out and brush it on, and wad up some more paper, and then use a heat gun to dry it. Just try to build it up till I get a thick enough layer that this becomes thick. I have no idea if this will work. Making my rock. Kind of reminds me of paper mache when I was like in grammar school or something. Um, just tearing up newspaper, editing it. Been rolling like the edges of the newspaper so you don't have those hard crisp lines. Trying to give some serration. I'm just trying to make it look like a rock. And this is newspaper and I'm using a heat gun. I already set it on fire once. <laughs> I'm hoping that the white glue will, will keep this from turning into chalk when it dries. That's to be determined. stoked and I don't know if this camera will focus that close. Just a very thick paste of a joint compound mixed with wood glue, just some cheap so I'm kind of leaning toward this to make my crawler course instead of spending a fortune on spray foam and you know be nice to mix some coloring in it for a base so when it wears through watered up newspaper and then painted it with the drywall mud and strips just like I think I mentioned it paper mache we used to do in grammar school anyway now all I have to do is paint it box huh. painted um, I uh, just totally kind of blown away. Um, like I say, I've never done anything like this before, and I'm sure a lot of this is luck. But just watered up newspaper, and then tear up strips and wrap it and paste more drywall mud on it. Probably uh, all said and done, maybe eighth of an inch thick, the plaster. And I, without cutting it open, I, I, mean, I just kept layering it. I sprayed the whole thing black, primer, just to seal it up. Then I used a uh, movie here, dollar store, and bought some temper paints. And, Stoked. So much so, I mean this would be a pain for to do an entire layout like this, but the effect's pretty awesome. I don't know if the camera's picking up the colors, it's kind of orangish, reddish. It's kind of going for a Utah look theme and something to match with a wood aging, leaning toward a, a like a desert mining kind of layout. 
and I had a lot of mud left over so I watered up more pieces of paper and like I said I spray painted it black and then went over with uh, some brown I didn't quite care for the color I have some I forget what this is peach you know, dry brushing and then went over with some orange mostly dry brushing but yet the paint was still wet so it kind of mixed and and highlight with some white and peach and just keep going back and forth the color still I was happy but and it fits right into my problem corner here um, so I'm really leaning toward making an indoor course I mean, I'm sure I'm going to use foam for some of the big structures. I want at least probably two layers. I haven't laid out anything. I've seen quite a few things that people have done. are just pretty impressive. I have room for a 4 by 8 sheet. I may not make it that wide or that long. I may go like 4 by 6 It just depends. I have an old kitchen table that I'm going to set it up on. I want to be able to get back in underneath to add lights possibly because I do anticipate doing some tunnels and stuff like that. Um, I've forgotten the name of the video I watched. The first one was a couple guys worked on it in Utah. Pretty impressive. And the only problem is I don't want to do with spray foam. It's just getting too expensive. And the plaster cloth, which gives you strength, but it's still, it's just, I'd rather spend my money on cars than a lot of supplies to build. Plaster thing, I'm leaning toward, I'm thinking cheesecloth or muslin. It would involve painting the plaster on, but I have brushes. <laughs> and I have an old five pound bag of drywall joint compound don't know that I'll be adding glue to it just because of the expense maybe in areas that it get driven on so the creation of a simple rock is pretty much pushing me into making a indoor course because since I've seen this and I've driven this and I can actually get on this rock to keep from falling off oops sorry about that either going off the point or falling off the bottom edge See if I can raise you here. And it just looks cool. I mean, I can see this laying out. Like the rocks. And the bridge. I did an earlier video on it. It's four foot six long in its entirety. So I don't know if I'll be able to incorporate that or not because of how much real estate it takes up. I could shorten it and move like one of these sections bring the ramp up closer anyway and this stuff's fun I enjoy making this stuff but I need some place to put it all and I think a big course even if these are still removable to transport to use outside or whatever having a layout that I can actually set them in and the other features I'm already seeing a mountain with a wooden water tower one thing leads to another anyway I just the newspaper and the drywall mud worked as far as creating boulders but the, as far as the painting you can't really do it wrong <laughs> you know if you have enough colors I used what four colors other than the primer you just keep going back and forth till you're happy with it Let's see if this will focus.